spell world backwards. Let's follow the mind for me. Okay, we're just going to come in with the hammer. What is this object? Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Okay. Just pinch as hard as you can. Your elbows for me. We'll do rock, close fists. Can you for me like this? Okay. Paper. With your hands held out. Hello there, and welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. Would you mind just confirming your name and date of birth? Excellent, and is that your preferred name, and how do you like to be addressed? Excellent. So, let me just take a look at your chart here. Interesting. So, you were referred over from Dr. Wilde, is that correct? Yeah. And it looks like she performed a cranial nerve examination on you, but she requested further testing. Does that sound? Does that sound about right? Okay. Excellent. So, it looks like she had focused more on the sensory portions of the neurological exam. What I'm going to be doing with you today is I'll be focusing primarily on the mental status exam, your motor function, your reflexes, and even some of your coordination. Okay? Does that sound all right? Wonderful. I'm just going to sanitize my hands real quick. And for this examination, there is going to be a touching involved. Is that okay with you? Do I have permission to touch you for the exam? Wonderful. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to have you do some little, well, let's think of it as brain teasers. I'm going to have you perform some simple actions for me, all right? You just let me know if you have any discomfort or if you need me to repeat any instructions, okay? So firstly, what is the date today? And what day of the week? Very good. And the year? Wonderful. And approximately what time is it? Or what time was your appointment at? Good. And where are we? What building? What room? Good. And what city? Excellent. So I'm going to have you repeat a short list for me. I want you to repeat orange, box, horse. Can you repeat that for me? Very good. 
Now I'm going to have you do a test known as serial sevens for me. So what serial sevens means is that I'm going to have you subtract the number seven from 100. Okay, we're going to start with that. So what is 100 minus seven? 93, good. And can you subtract seven from that number again? Good, and can you do it again? And can you do it again? And one more time. Very good. One's kind of a tricky one, huh? All right, and another one, another little brain teaser. Can you spell the word world backwards? As in our world, the world, world, W-O-R-L-D. You spell that backwards? Good, excellent. I'm going to have you name some objects for me, okay? So we're gonna start first with this. What is this object? Good, it's a piece of paper and what is this object? Good, it's a pen. And what about this object? What is this object? Good, screwdriver. And what about this? What is this? Good, this is a spoon. Although the spoon is not just a spoon. <laughs> and what about this? What is this? Good, it's a ball. And what about this? What is this? It's a rock, very good. And last thing, what is this object? Flashlight, very good. Now, I'm going to have you name some colors for me. I'm gonna hold up an object, and I want you to tell me what color it is, all right? Good. I didn't see that you don't have any color blindness, right? No, okay, just wanted to make sure. So first, what color is this? What color is the pen primarily? This is blue. And what color is the button here? What color is this? White. What color is the ball? Primarily. What color is the ball? Purple.
taupe, beige, tan. All those are different shades of brown. And what about my reflex hammer here? What color is the hammer? Color is my sanitizer here. What is this color? Green. And what is this color here? Yeah, it's a little more yellow green. I would accept yellow or maybe a chartreuse even. This is more of a yellow-green, but we'll just call it yellow. And last object. What color is the spoon? What color is the spoon? Yes. Either gray or silver, whichever you prefer. What was the short list of objects that I had you repeat for me earlier? There were three unrelated objects that I had you repeat. What were those objects? Very good. So short-term memory, recall, good, excellent. Now to test your more long-term memory, I'd like you to tell me about an event that happened to you between three to five years ago. It could be a little further in the past if you prefer, but at least three years. Doesn't have to be anything special. It could be about, gosh, a trip you went on or an interesting day at work a family's birthday party, anything like that. Yeah, just tell me a little bit about it, just so I know that your long-term memory has not been affected. Good, okay. That'll work. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of drawing. So I'm going to just grab our little piece of paper here. And I'm just going to have you draw a clock face for me. And if you could put the hands at 510, that would be excellent, okay? So I'm going to hand this to you, and I want you to just draw me a clock face with the hands at 510. Mind if I see? All right, that's pretty close. I know it's hard to draw a convincing clock face in just a short amount of time, but that definitely looks like 510 to me, or at least quite close to it. Very good. Now, I want you to list as many words that start with D as you can. 
I'll let you start and I'll tell you when to stop, okay? So list as many words starting with the letter D as you can. Good. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can stop. Very good. Excellent. So, I am going to go grab us a little Sharpie marker real quick, and then we're going to do one last test with our mental status examination. Thank you for your patience. I got our Sharpie marker at the ready. So I am going to be writing some sentences. I'm going to have you read them. I'm going to have you write them. And I'm going to have you repeat them. Okay? sentence. What does this sentence say? The cat jumped over the brown dog. does the second sentence say? There is a yellow ball by the house. Good. And I'm going to give you the paper and my pen. And you are going to be writing these sentences that I have written in Sharpie marker. And you are going to write them in the space provided just under them. Okay? So I'm going to give this to you. And I want you to just write out the sentences for me. Okay?
Mind if I see? Good. And now I'm just going to have you repeat these phrases, or sentences rather. I am just going to tell you the sentence, and I want you to repeat it back to me. Okay? Good. There is a yellow ball by the house. There is a yellow ball by the house. Good. Five people stand by the school. Five people stand by the school. Good. Now let's test some of your motor functions. So we're going to be moving on from the brain teasers and we're going to more work with how your muscles are doing, okay? So firstly, okay, I am going to hold out my hands, my fingers here, I want you to squeeze them together as hard as you can, okay? Squeeze them together. Both hands, same time. Go ahead and squeeze my fingers. Very good. Now I'm going to put out my fingers here. I want you to pinch them in between your index and thumb finger hard as you can. Squeeze my finger. Squeeze my finger. Okay? So with one hand, go ahead and squeeze this finger. Good. And then with the other hand. Excellent. So let me see. Okay. So I am going to have you pick up the screwdriver by this little metal rod here. Okay. If you could pick that up for me and then put it down. Pick it up. Good, put it back. And then with the other hand, pick it up. Mm hmm. And put it down. Very good. Just give me a moment. I'm going to have you copy some motions for me, okay? First, if you could make a rock or a closed fist here. We're going to do rock, paper, scissors. Rock with both hands. Paper with both hands. Your hands just laid flat. Don't splay the fingers. Okay. And what about scissors? Can you do scissors here? Your index and middle finger splayed Good. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of push and pull, some resistance tests here. Okay. So firstly, I am going to put my hand by your cheek here, and I want you to turn against me. Okay. Turn against my hand. If you could just turn to the side. Good. And turn against my hand. Good. Okay. And now I'm going to have you bring your shoulders up and I want you to resist me pushing them down. Okay. So bring them up. I'm going to try to push them down. Good. Go ahead and let your shoulders drop. I'm going to have you push them up against my resistance. Okay. So go ahead and push your shoulders up. Good. And now if you could make a 90 degree angle with both of your arms and hold your elbows, or hold your forearms rather, perpendicular to the floor. Okay. 
I am going to try to pull you towards me. I want you to resist me. Good. And now I'm going to try to push you, and I want you to resist me. Good. Okay. So now I am going to have you put out your hands like this. I'm going to try to push them down. I want you to resist me. Okay. Good. And now I'm going to try to push them up. And I want you to resist me. Good. And now if you could put your thumb up like this, like you're giving me a thumbs up, I'm going to try to push it down. And I want you to resist me. Both hands. Good. And now I'm going to have you just put your thumbs relaxed and I'm going to try to pull up and I want you to resist me. Both hands. Good. Now with your legs, I'm going to push down on the tops of your thighs here by your knees and I want you to push up against me. Okay. I'm pushing down. You push up. Good. And now I'm going to hook my hands underneath your thighs. I'm going to try to pull up. I want you to push down and resist me. Good. And now I'm going to try to push your shins forward. I want you to resist me. Good. And I'm just going to try to pull them towards me. I want you to resist me. Okay. I'm going to have you have your feet out flat like we did with your hands. I'm going to try to push them down and I want you to resist me. Okay. Now I'm going to hook my hands under them and I'm going to try to pull them upwards and I want you to resist me. Okay. And now with your big toe, I'm going to try to push it down and I want you to resist. Good. And I'm going to try to pull it upwards and I want you to resist. Very good. You can relax. There won't be any more push and pull tests. Okay. We're going to be moving on to coordination. So firstly, we're going to be testing for dysdiadocal kinesia. With dysdiadocal kinesia, I'm going to have you put your hand on top of your other hand, flip your palm, and do it back and forth as fast as you can. If you were to have dysdiadocal kinesia, you wouldn't be able to do this. So we are testing this movement. The ability to do alternating rapid movements. Okay? So just hold out one hand and put your other hand face down on it so your palms are touching. Okay? And then flip your hand over. Good. And then back. Flip. Back. Flip. Back. And then do that as fast as you can. Very good. Now let's switch. Palms together. Okay. Flip your hand over. Flip it back. Over. Back. Over. Back and as fast as you can. Very good. Okay, you can go ahead and stop. And next we're going to be testing, we'll be doing the dysmetria test. Okay, so I am going to just put my finger right in front of you here. What I want you to do is I want you to touch your nose and then touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger. And then I'm going to have you do it with your eyes closed. Nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger. And we'll also have you touch your nose then my finger and I'm going to be moving it around. But we'll start first with 
you touching your nose and then my finger, okay? Touch your nose, touch my finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose. Okay, close your eyes. If you could touch my finger, touch your nose, finger, nose, finger, back to your nose. Go ahead and open your eyes and touch my finger, but it's going to be moving around, okay? So keep touching your nose and then my finger. Good, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger. nose. Very good. And I am going to have you recline back for me. And we're going to do what's known as the heel to shin test. If you could just lay back with both of your legs in front of you, okay? And I want you to bring your right foot up and touch your left knee with your right foot, okay? Then I want you to slide your right foot, your heel, down your shin to your left ankle, okay? So let's say my hands are your feet and my elbows are your knees. So you're gonna be bringing up your foot, touching your knee, bringing your heel down the shin, to the ankle and back again just like that okay so if you could go ahead and do that with your right foot so put your right foot on your left knee drag the heel down your shin all the way to your left ankle lift up go back to your left knee drag down your shin to the ankle lift up to the knee, drag your heel down your shin to the ankle. Okay, now we're going to switch sides. So I want you to lift your left foot and put it on your right knee. Drag your heel down to your right ankle, lift up and put it back on your right knee. Drag your heel down your shin. Good. When you get to the ankle, lift up. Go back to the knee. Down the shin to the ankle. Lift up. Go back. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to have you get up for me. We're going to test your gait. So I'm going to have you stand and I'll give you a moment. Good. And I'm going to have you walk across the room just normally for me, okay? To the wall over there. Good. And now I want you to walk back on your toes. So walk on your tiptoes. Good. And now if you could walk back on your heels. Okay, so with your toes not touching the floor, walk on your heels. And if you could walk back heel to toe, so when you walk, your toes are touching the heel of your forward foot. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Yeah, one foot right in front of the other. Good, good. So now we're going to do the Romberg test. And I just want you to stand in front of me with your feet together, okay? Stand still, and I will be here in case you fall or you get a little unbalanced, so you won't fall. And I want you to close your eyes and stand still, okay? 
So I've got you here. Close your eyes and stand still. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes and sit back down. Last thing we have on the agenda is we are going to be testing your myotactic reflexes, also known as your deep tendon reflexes. You probably know quite well the knee jerk reflex, right? Yes, so it's a few different reflexes that work just like that. I will be using both a tailor hammer, like this, and a Trumner hammer, like this. Now the Trumner hammer has a little attached brush and tip, a little secret compartment, but it makes a bit of noise, so I'll just take that out. And we are going to start with the jaw jerk reflex. So I am going to have you drop your jaw so your teeth are just a little bit apart, okay? So your mouth is just a little bit open. I'm going to put my thumb right on your chin, and I'm going to be tapping on my thumb, okay? So just relax your jaw. Let your mouth hang open just a little bit. I'm going to put my thumb right on your chin, and we are just going to... Good, very good. We're going to be moving to your arms. First, I'll be testing the biceps reflex, and this is going to be where I wrap my hand around your elbow and place my thumb in the crook of your elbow, and I will be tapping the hammer right on my thumb that's in the crook of your elbow, okay? I'm just going to wrap my hand around your elbow, put my finger, my thumb rather, right in the crook of your elbow, and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. Good. And the other side, wrap my hand around your elbow, put my thumb in the cubital fossa here, and Very good. Now we're going to test the brachioradialis reflex. So I'm going to have you hold your arm so that your thumb is pointing to the ceiling and your pinky is towards the floor. Okay. And I am going to be tapping right, right here, just below the wrist. Okay. So go ahead and just relax for me. Good. And the other side, just relax the arm. And right here, go ahead and just tap. Very good. Let's test your triceps reflex. So I am going to hold your arm. I'm going to hold it up so that it is hanging like this. Okay. I'm going to hold it. And I want you to let me take the weight of it and just relax. I'm going to be tapping just on the top of the arm there, okay? So let me lift your arm up. Let me take the weight of it. I'm going to tap just behind the elbow here, okay? Good. And then we'll pull that back down and bring this arm up. Let me take the weight of it, okay? Just let it go floppy, right? And let me just... Good. Bring that back down. We're going to do a fun little reflex called the extensor digitorum reflex. And I'm going to have you just kind of curl your fingers like this, and I'm going to put my fingers right in 
that little crevice that we create, okay? I'm going to be tapping on my fingers, and we should get a reflex. So go ahead and just curl your fingers, okay, a little bit, and let them relax. I'm just going to push my fingers into that spot. Just going to... Good. And the other side, just let your fingers curl a little bit. I'm going to push my fingers in. And tuck, tuck, tuck. Good. Excellent. Now we have the knee jerk reflex. We have the Achilles tendon and we have Babinski's reflex. So for our knee jerk reflex, I like to get it with the Taylor hammer. This has a bit of a better edge for me to hit it correctly. I'm going to have you relax your legs for me. Just let them hang freely. Okay, and I am just going to come in here and... Good. Good. And then we'll grab the Chomner hammer for the Achilles tendon. Let your feet hang for me, okay? I'm just going to hold your foot, and we're going to go down, down, down. Good. Hold your foot. A little tension there. Good. Last one with Babinski's. We're going to use the blade of the Taylor hammer, and I'm just going to be dragging this along the outside of your foot, along the sole of your foot, okay? All right, so let your, let your feet hang freely. I'm just going to pull the blade up the foot. Good. Good, and the other side, pull up the foot. Stroke up the foot. Very good. Excellent. So that will conclude my portion of the cranial nerve examination, your neurological assessment. Now, from what I've seen today, I haven't seen anything that suggests that there's anything out of the ordinary going on with you, all right? If you were to have any further concerns, then I will direct you to Dr. Wild, okay? She can take care of you. Do you have any questions at all about the examination, your results, anything like that? Okay, very good. Now I am just going to sign off on your chart. And that will do it for us. I'd like to thank you so much for coming to see me and Dr. Wild for your cranial nerve examination. I really hope it was a pleasant process. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night.